Application of graph theory in scheduling. Group members. Bhavya Shah 20210-1426. Shlok Mansata 20210-1257. Samya Shah 20210-1167 Narendra Thakkar 20210-1236 Yash Gakra 20210-1266 Ayush Patel 20210-1452 The sheer magnitude of the number of games that must be played in league sports creates a large domain for mathematics to assist in the efficient operation of sports such as baseball, football, basketball, soccer, and cricket. Some of the fascinating mathematics of sports is scheduling related to optimization. The study is to apply the concepts of graph theory like graph coloring. Complete graphs and combinational analysis to schedule a sports tournament while considering some basic constraints like the number of teams and venues, etc. Knowledge 1. Complete graph. If each vertex of a simple connected graph is connected to each other, then such a type of graph is known as complete graph. Bipartite graph. If the vertex set A of a graph can be partitioned into two non-empty disjoint subsets B and C in such a way that the edge of the graph has one end in B and one end in C, then such a graph is called a bipartite graph. Three adjacency matrix. An adjacency matrix is a square matrix used to represent a finite graph. The elements of the matrix indicate whether pairs of vertices are adjacent or not in the graph. In the special case of a finite simple graph, the adjacency matrix is a matrix with zeros on its diagonal. 4. Graph coloring Painting all the vertices of a graph with colors such that no two adjacent vertices have the same color is called graph coloring. Nation format. Constraint. The number of teams n should be of the form n equals 2 raised to x where x is any integer greater than or equal to 1. In the first round of the match, these two raised to x teams will play 2. Same. Similarly in the next round, two raised to x slash two teams will play two raised to x slash four matches. The rounds will go on until one team remains and that team is the winner. The dream of elimination tournament will look like this. Colors required will be lock and base 2. Color 1 for round 1 and all the games happening on consecutive days. Color 2 for round 2 and all the games happening on consecutive days but with one break after color 1. Color 3 for round 3 and all the games happening on consecutive days but with one break after color 2. Here no of days required will be, no of days of color 1 plus no. Of days of color 2. Plus no of days of color 3 plus n 1 days. Format. If n is the number of competitors, a pure round robin tournament requires n slash 2 games. If n is even, then in each of rounds, n slash 2 games can be run concurrently, provided there exist sufficient resources. If n is odd, there will be n rounds, each with slash two games, and one competitor having no game in that round. Considered as constraints in which one time. Completing the tournament in a limited time is one of the biggest challenges faced by organizers. Two circle of death. 
During the round robins of a lesser number of teams, there will be a condition where teams cannot be separated on the head-to-head -head basis. If there are three teams A, B, C where A defeats B, B defeats C, C defeats A and all three competitors will have one lose and one win. And their tiebreakers will have to be played which will increase the number of tournaments. Scheduling Algorithm We will be assigning numbers to every team and then we'll get them paired with another team. With one team remaining constant while other teams rotate in a clockwise direction. We will try to implement this solution on eight teams round robin. There will be a complete graph formation with eight vertices and 28 edges. Here each vertex defines the teams and edges define the match. Here is the pictorial representation of match rounds through graph rotation. Robin schedule algorithm will be practical implementation of application in sports with a large no of matches and teams double round robin and elimination tournaments are common most of the football leagues all over the world are played using a double round robin and elimination for remaining qualified teams this system is also used in major tournaments such as FIFA, UEFA, IPL, World Cup, NBL, chess, hockey, and many other tournaments all over the world. So to schedule these tournaments efficiently graph theory can be used. Using the graph theory, we can easily schedule all of these tournaments without any clashes and constraints and each tournament can be also taken care of. Above given are examples of sports schedules. But this technique can also be used in many other ways such as scheduling timetables of schools slash universities with particular know of subjects and professors. Doctor appointments with large know of patients, flights, and routes, committee meetings. Conclusion Thus, the fundamental basis in sports scheduling and their formulations in professional leagues of different sports disciplines such as football, baseball, basketball, cricket, hockey etc. has been discussed by round-robin tournaments using graph theory with odd and even number of teams, and elimination tournaments using trees with two n number of teams. Hence, Concepts of mathematics can be used efficiently and effectively in various diverse fields like sports. Thank you.